Thank you. And then President Biden is calling these reports about the administration paying up to $450,000 to illegal immigrants who are separated from family members garbage. He says it's not going to happen. But the ACLU says that it is. So who is right? Wait, are you talking about the question you asked him yesterday? Yes. So um, if it saves taxpayer dollars and puts uh, the disastrous history of the previous administration's use of zero tolerance and family separation behind us, the president is perfectly comfortable with the Department of Justice settling with the individuals and families who are currently in litigation with the U.S. government. You know, DOJ can obviously speak more to that process. The president was, what he was reacting to uh, was the dollar figure that was mentioned, that you mentioned to him yesterday. Uh, as press accounts to date indicate, there's been press accounts on this, DOJ DOJ made clear to the plaintiffs that the reported figures are higher than anywhere that a settlement can land. Again, this is a this is something that the Department of Justice can can speak to. I, I do not have anything more to add but, to this. But if it's not if he's not okay with four hundred fifty thousand dollars, how much money is he okay giving? This is some again, Peter. This is something that the Department of Justice is going to handle. I just laid out what he was thinking and how this is the process was moving forward. I, the, the DOJ will talk to the specifics and, of and this. And so, what changed then from yesterday? You're saying that he would be perfectly comfortable settling with these families who broke the law to come here, but yesterday he said that's not going to happen. I, first of all, let's remember how we got here, how we got to a place where we're dealing with families being separated. This is coming from the last administration, cruel, inhuman, immoral, immoral uh, policies against, against, against just people. It's separating children from their families, 18-month-olds, 2-year-olds, 5-year-olds from their families. That's how we got here, is because of the last administration. This is what we're trying to deal with here in this administration. So let's be very clear of how we got here and what's happening. Anything else that you would like to know about this, again, I'll, I'll, I'll send you to the Department of Justice. I can't speak to specifics, any more okay, specifics China. on this. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Jujan. Uh, thank you. Um, another question on oil, please. Given the administration has gotten a pretty clear rebuff from, from OPEC on the president's calls to increase oil um, outputs, will the White House, will the administration commit to an SPR release, a strategic petroleum release? And if not, will oil prices just go higher? So I'll say, they, I, I say, I'll say this, and you've heard Jen say it behind this podium, we are not a party of uh, OP, OPEC plus, and ultimately it will make its own decision. As you remember, we engaged with relevant OPEC plus members a few months ago as well, uh, urging a compromise solution to allow proposed production increases to move forward, which they did, but more can be done. Now is the time for majority country producers to stabilize energy prices and ensure high prices do not hamstring the current global economic recovery. As we have said, we've been in conversation with energy consumer countries, and we will consider the full range of tools at our disposal uh, to bolster resilience and public confidence. That includes an SPR release? I, I, I don't have anything specifics, but we are going to use every tool at dis our disposal to make sure that we address this. And does this show the limits of, of American influence on some of the U.S. allies? Because obviously the administration put a lot of pressure on some of these oil producing countries, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait. Does this show some of the limits of, of the U.S. I, I mean, I wouldn't characterize it that way, I'm, but we're going to continue to, uh, you know, continue to work on this. This is not the end uh, and have the conversations. Trying to follow up. 